If you're to go outside and pick up a handful of topsoil, about half of that handful will be made up of mineral and organic material. The other half will be made up of air and water. That water is called soil moisture, and soil moisture is derived from rainfall. Over short time spans, week to week, month to month, the amount of mineral and organic material doesn't change all that much. But the amount of soil moisture can change significantly. When it rains, soil will soak up some of that rainwater. But soils can only soak up rainwater so fast. If it is raining faster, then the soil can soak up the rainfall. That excess rainfall will become runoff and move downhill to the nearest stream channel. Water that is absorbed into the soil can go a couple different directions. And to understand that, it helps to understand that water is sticky. Water can stick to the soil particles themselves, and that's called adhesion. Water can also stick to other water molecules, and that's called cohesion. A soil can only hold so much of this adhesion and cohesion water. So on an average day, the water in a soil is made up of adhesion and cohesion water that can be evaporated directly from the soil into the atmosphere or be taken up by plants. Most plants have some sort of biological plumbing system where water is removed from the soil by the roots, piped up through the stems, and then evaporated back into the atmosphere through the leaves. This is called transpiration. Once all of the cohesion water has been removed from a soil, the plants will start to wilt. And unless that water is replenished by rainfall, there won't be any more available water for plants to take up. Importantly, it's not just plants removing water from the soil. Water can be directly evaporated from the soil into the atmosphere. And again, in droughts, precipitation does not keep up with the rate that water is lost from a soil due to evaporation. When soil moisture is evaporated, the air around the soil cools slightly to allow for the liquid water to become water vapor. During droughts, when there's no more soil moisture to evaporate, the air will warm slightly as it is not being cooled through evaporation. Importantly, soil moisture represents the first big bucket of water that must be refilled at the end of a drought. Dry soils can hold a lot more moisture than wet soils. And this is why sometimes when it does rain during a drought, you don't see an associated large amount of river flow because the soil has soaked up the majority of that rainfall. This is why large rainfall events that sometimes do occur during drought periods do not have an equally large impact on river and reservoir levels.